This is Twit. I don't know about you, Rosemary Orchard, but I am loving this new iPad mini. I think it is the perfect size. It has a gorgeous little screen. It's my little buddy that uh, I could carry around with me everywhere because I do have monster hands. And so it's uh, very nice to have this little thing along with me. Um, I got it in, uh, I think it's just called Space Gray still, but with this really vibrant orange case. And I'm actually, my shirt has some orange on it to, uh, to, to match with my, to coordinate at least with my iPad mini. Um, this is a beautiful little consumption device that mm -hmm. also has some handy, you know, uh, creation features as well. So it's, it's a little productivity tool and I have been enjoying using it, um, just every single day as the little take along device that, uh, does it all. So tell me about yeah. your initial thoughts with the new iPad mini and kind of, uh, how you're feeling about it. Well, I had the iPad mini five, which is right here. It's rose gold. Um, the, the Apple pencil stuck to the iPad mini behind it because if I turn this around, you'll see that the new iPad mini is definitely smaller, at least height wise. Width wise in the case, um, in, in the folio case, this is Apple's folio case for the new iPad mini. It's about the same. And obviously depth wise, this is now a little bit thicker, but I picked it up and I immediately went, oh yeah, this is a little easier to hold. Um, I'll just pop that iPad mini down instead of dropping it off on the floor because my grandmother is uh, after that. She's got her eye on it. Um, but mm -hmm. I immediately, you know, I opened it up and gosh, this is gorgeous. This is a lovely device. Um, and the screen again feels really nice. I know some people are saying that they, they can see the difference between this um, and the other, you know, the 12.9 the inch iPad Pro, the 11 inch iPad Pro. But equally, you know, I'm holding this a little bit closer to me than say a bigger iPad just because it's lighter. So it's easier to hold higher. And I'm I'm enjoying it. So I usually take my iPad mini with me when I go places. So this time I've opted for the cellular model. Um, and Micah, I'm I'm not boring like you. I've gone with <laughs> Oh, wait, I got it in purple. And I've got the, the iPad mini here um, from the 12 mini because I wanted to show people the, the purple contrast. Um, because unfortunately, the, the iPad mini purple, as people can see here, it's, it's kind of like gray that once saw purple and is longing, um, but it, its memory is quite faulty. So it's not very good at, at picking it up uh, or remembering what it's like. And it's, you, you see it a little better perhaps um, when I do a bezel comparison. Uh, one of those is much more purple than the other, but the case, Micah, they nailed the case. The case, the English lavender case is absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much because first of all, it's a folio case. So it wraps all around the device um, and it pops mm -hmm. off incredibly easily. Um, because, you know, I, I, I often have the iPad like this, um, yep. but I can also just, you know, flip it around like this, use my Apple pencil, take some notes. Um, and it's great. This Apple pencil, I did not buy any Apple pencil. I stole this from my 12.9 inch iPad pro. And then at the weekend I was there and I was writing something up on my iPad mini. I was using, uh, notability and I went, hang on a minute. Mm -mm. I, I need a bit more space. Went over to my 12.9 inch iPad pro, picked up the, the Apple pencil from the mini stuck it on top of the iPad Pro, picked it up, and then just wrote on the iPad Pro. That was it. That, that you know, It's incredibly easy to swap this between devices. It's not like the previous one where you pop off the top and you stick it in the bottom of the device and you wait for a moment to, for it to connect. Or if it's not charged, you wait half an hour and forget what you were going to do with your life um, <laughs> or anything and lose the cap in the meantime. There's none of that. This just, it sticks on. Um, and it magnetizes nicely. Um, and for people who are curious about attention to detail, I'm going to see if I can hold this in the right place. You can't really see it, but it, the, the pencil does just fit nicely between the antenna bands um, on the Senator um, one, which is great because the, the SIM card slot is right down here underneath where you can uh, magnetize the Apple Pencil to. But yeah, this is good. So I upgraded cellular this time because I had Wi-Fi before. Um, and, you know, during the pandemic, that was fine. Um, but before the pandemic, I did have a couple of little difficulties because I was having to tether to my phone and it would drop out every once in a while and so on. And I found out that um, the the new deal that I will be on as of, I think, next week with uh, the phone company, I can also add the um iPad to it and I'll be able to share data between the two devices if I need to so I can get a low data plan and so I when I found that out it was a case of cellular is happening because isn't this gorgeous um I have to say 
Micah, I've mostly used this for playing games. Um, <laughs> Mini Metro um, and Mini Motorways have have made a bit of a comeback over the weekend for me. And uh, I, I was all in on that because it is a really nice device to be able to play that with. Um, and uh, yeah, it charges quickly because that USB-C and you can just plug it into any USB-C charger and it'll draw as much power as it's able to, which is great. What about you? Do you wish it had come in green? Are you, are you longing uh. for a green iPad mini? That's yeah. So the reason I went with the space gray model was because I was gonna, as I said, sort of sort of uh, step out, show it off with that really bright orange case. Um, but yeah, mostly it was me sort of pouting about the fact that it didn't come in green because the iPad Air did come in green, and so I was mm -hmm. hoping that the new iPad Mini would as well. Unfortunately, no. Um, but as Anthony has pointed out in the uh, iOS Today Discord chat, um, says he feels like this would be great for cloud gaming. I a thousand percent agree. This is the perfect little device for that. Um, and you you talked about how you you know you were also playing games on it. Um, yeah, it's just big enough. And so you can put it somewhere, you know, it could sit on your lap, it could sit on a table, it could sit uh, wherever you needed it to. I, uh, the other day I was using it, I have um, an old Kindle, a Kindle Voyage, uh, and I, most of the time, I've, I've said before, most of the time I listen to audiobooks, but occasionally there will be a book that comes out before it's an audiobook, and it's enough of something that I want to um consume uh, that I will go ahead and grab it on um, on the Kindle store and read it. And so I was I was reading through a book and most of the time I use my Kindle for that. However, uh, I wanted to eat. And so the Kindle, you've, you know, you've got to press the buttons on the side to, or the, the fake buttons on the side to move the pages along. And so I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll take my little iPad mini, I'll roll the case back so I can uh, set it up and I will open up the Kindle app and have it in landscape mode. And then I will um, just be able to swipe really easily to change, you know, to, to, to go forward with pages. And so it was a very nice little experience for me for for doing that as well. I think this is a great device for, uh, you know, sometimes you've, you're like, oh, I want to show you this video. And everybody kind of huddles around a tiny little phone. This is the perfect mm -hmm. size to where it's still handy, still convenient to hold in your hands, but you can show people things. Um, you'll notice I've got the I, the the Apple Pencil stuck to the side of this. I don't always carry it on there um, because I do like using the Apple Pencil on the, the bigger screens. But what is handy is uh, the Quick Notes feature within uh, iPad OS 15 that lets you quickly take notes on your iPad and be able to use those uh, for you know whatever you happen to want to to use them for. So uh, you swipe from the bottom right corner of the screen, and a little note pops up. You can then use. Um, the, there's there are different pencils or pens that you can use that are common in the notes app, but there's another one which is really cool, and it is uh, basically it automatically turns your writing into actual text. So as you're writing, it goes ahead and translates that into text that, that can then be stay uh, stored uh, in in the app. And then I don't I don't remember. Did you mention the upgrades to the front facing camera on this? I did not, but that is something I wanted to get to because I spend okay, yeah, a lot please. of time, you know, hanging out with friends, chatting on Zoom or whatever, just because it's, you know, it's easier than just sending texts back and forth. And it's it's more personal. Um, and the the center stage on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro definitely stole the show a bit. You know, you walk away to get a glass of water, you, you walk back and as soon as you pop into shot, the iPhone zooms in on you and does this really dramatic zoom in. And it's a lot of fun. And it's even better on the iPad mini because the iPad mini goes everywhere with me. Um, and, you know, if I'm hanging out with people um, occasionally um, at work in the mornings, we we do um, it's like office hours kind of, kind of thing where we all just sit around and do whatever we're doing. And then we can ask, um, you know, each other what's, you know, about about some other stuff, which is quite nice. Um, then, um, you know, I, I've been using this for that um, for when we do have cameras. We have one day a week with cameras. The rest of the days of the week are no cameras because... 
people don't like each other that much, uh, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's mostly that people didn't want to get out of the habit of working in their pajamas every single day. So this is this is slowly easing us back before we go into the office a whole day a week. Um, but uh, there we go. Um, but it's really great. The camera is so good on this. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. I also used uh, the back camera on the iPad Mini to take a couple of pictures. It's not something that I'm going to be pulling out to take photos with, but if I want to take a picture, of my iPhone or of multiple iPhones, then the, the camera is great. And it's, it's 12 point, it's 12 megapixels um, and it's ultra wide. And that really does make a big difference um, with the, um, with, you know, FaceTime, Zoom, et cetera, um, just because it's, it's perfect for that sort of thing. Um, and the, the flash on the back as well is, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's a much needed upgrade, but if you're going to have a camera, having a camera with a flash is always better than having a camera without a flash. A uh, number of times I've tried to take a picture of say a document that is my most frequent usage of the back camera, actually on the, on the iPad in general, um, scanning documents, um, and uh, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is kind of unwieldy to do that with. It's the same size as the document, um, but the the iPad Mini is great for that. You just need a flat surface, uh, open up the Files app, tap and hold uh, on an empty space, and then you can scan a document and boom, do that with the iPad Mini. Yes, um, I just there's something like I could see so many people getting a lot out of this device because of its size, uh, its its ease of use, et cetera. Um, I think it's really just a, a handy little thing that um, I, th I think that uh, people will be kind of driven to, to purchase where, because so not only does this have, you know, not only does it come in a nice form factor, but it also is, uh, it's it's packed with the latest processor from Apple. Um, the screen is much improved. A lot of people like Touch ID, so you've got another Touch ID device. It has that new camera that can do the fun um, zoom and reshift of the view thing. Uh, something that I wanted to mention that I just thought was kind of interesting is the top, uh, because of the where the Apple Pencil is, uh, the top has the volume buttons, but not just uh, oh, yeah. that the top has the volume buttons. Um, these buttons are uh, orientation aware so that whichever way you have it, volume up is the, are the, is the one that's on the top and volume down is the one that's on the bottom. So yeah. you can have this in different orientations and still be able to sort of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Even without thinking, you know how you turn it up or you turn it down. Um, yes. One of the things that that kind of confused me at first is I, I didn't, I was kind of wondering why do all three of these panels have magnets in them? If whenever I'm using this, I am, uh, you know, putting it in this sort of uh, tripod or, or triangular arrangement in order to lift it up. And then I realized that's because when I wrap it around back, if I want to uh, show the camera so that I can take photos, that will ma the, the, the panel that covers the camera will magnet to the one next to it so that the camera is on display yeah. and you can easily take a photo with it. Uh, that just didn't click with me at first. And so whenever I uh, realized that, I thought that is just a clever uh, little design thing. I, I think I recommend if you're going to get this thing, uh, getting the smart folio case to go with it or finding, you know, a third party case to go with it simply because, um, because of the size of this, it just feels like a device that you're going to want to sort of carry around and not, not toss around per se, but sort of move. You should feel free to move about with it. And I certainly feel yep. more free to move about with it with this case on the top, less fingerprints are getting all over the, the cover of it, et cetera. Um, and so, yeah, I've been very, very happy with this case or with this uh, iPad. You've got speakers on the top and on the bottom um, so that it, you know, it, it sounds good even at this small size if you just want to use it to, to watch shows or, or what have you. And then I like this too as a nice little uh, display for controlling the smart home. Um, this is, the, you know, I, I think that should a new iPad mini come out in the future, this one's going to stick around as perhaps a wall-mounted panel uh, that I'll use to control my smart home just because it's, it's a, again, it's the perfect size 
And it's just, ah, it's very good at what it does. So yeah, I've been very impressed. Um, Apple, I think, knocked it out of the park with this new iPad mini. And I'm happy to see the iPad mini continue to get the attention uh, that it deserves because I think that there are a lot of people out there who like the iPad in this tiny little size. So my only wonder is how long it will be until somebody, be it Apple or a third party, comes out with a... um, comes out with a keyboard case for this thing. Yeah, um, because this is the difference between this iPad mini and the 12.9 inch or the 11 inch iPad Pro. What we're missing are these three little dots down here. They would be about there-ish or probably about here-ish, the smart connector. There is no smart connector on this device, which means that there's no possibility of a magic keyboard or a smart keyboard. So we're going to be Bluetooth keyboarding with this. Now I ordered um, and received before, and I need to arrange to return the Logitech keys to go. Um, it was on the product page when I was checking out and I thought, sure, this looks like a good keyboard um, for me. Um, I found, unfortunately for me, it's too spongy and I have to press what feels like too hard on the keys to make the keys respond. And it's also bigger than the iPad mini, which is not great. So I'm going to be going back to my previous solution of a folding Bluetooth keyboard, um, which turns off when you, when you close it, it magnetizes shut and then, you know, that's it. It's off. It's not perfect. Um, there, there's not going to be a perfect solution to this, but I miss the old days, Micah, where the first iPad mini, I think it was Logitech had this little keyboard, um, that magnetized on the front, like a smart cover. Um, and then you just picked it off and you put it in a slot that was, you know, uh, maybe, you know, three quarters of an inch into it. And then that slot sort of had a tilt mechanism in it. And I really wish I still had that keyboard because I think this iPad mini might actually fit in that. Um, and unfortunately I don't, I went through everything uh, to look and see if I still had it and I don't. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what come, we get there. Um, and uh, hopefully there will be something good that we can use as a Bluetooth keyboard. In the meantime, I will be sticking this um, with a folding keyboard. I have a Tombin padded organizer uh, pouch, which just zips across the top. And this just slides in there with a little bit of space at the top and the bottom, but it's nicely thick and padded. So I can just chuck it in a handbag and go, and I don't need to worry about it at all, which is wonderful. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited by the iPad mini.